This is not the Figma Katsuki Bakugo from My Hero Academia. <laughs> What is up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphaelis, and today we're looking at another bootleg. Therefore, you know what it is. This is a clone, this is a fake, this is a China clone, this is Chaos Naka. This is something that you get off of AliExpress, or in this case, eBay, and I spent $25, and it shipped to me in pretty decent shape. That's right, we're dealing with a fake uh, Figma Bakugo, number 443. Clearly, this is a fake. Uh, the box is really messed up. I think we're missing a few things. I'm not too sure. I don't have the real deal box, but I do have the real deal action figure. And we're going to compare it and see. Ooh, look at it. He's like, yeah, let's see if it's any good. Uh, we're going to see if this figure is any good. We're going to compare it with the real deal in terms of paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. Hello to everyone. We are streaming this on twitch.tv forward slash dstart01 where we do giveaways. I chat with you guys and everything like that. So let's get some formalities out of the way. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And also, don't forget to visit our Discord. We have a fan art contest where we will be giving away a brand new Jucky Chun if you are in the theme. The theme is slamming a figure on the table like this, but the let's say the table smashes in half by thunder or something. Ron did a really good drawing and you can see it in our Discord. So that is enough of the formalities. If you're oh, oh one more formality, duh. If you're looking for a hundred percent real deal action figures, you can always go to www.dstartoys.com. Your reliable source for awesome action figures. Anyway, let's take us to the top can. Like I said before, right, we have no Janelle here. It is all me working it here on the Stream deck. Oh look no tape. We're gonna open this guy up. Hopefully he's pretty good The real deal is going for about $80 I believe US dollars to get it shipped from Japan to the United States And we're gonna open them up and we're gonna see and also you can tell that it is a China clone because the excessive Amount of tape that they put on all of these action figures my goodness. I get it. It needs to be taped down. I absolutely get the cheese. Look at all this tape. Come on. There we go. And we happen to get this guy open. And we're going to see how it is. Let's go to the front cam. Let's see how this figure is. Is he going to fall apart? Is he a loose mess? Is the paint and detail absolutely atrocious? I don't know, but that's what we're here to look at today. First and foremost, let's look at this face. Face not bad at all i have to say that's not bad wow that's actually not too bad here's one thing i do notice the paint is just wow it is not good at all it does look like bakugo don't get me wrong it's missing a matte finish it's something that you could totally do on your own you can get some matte finish at dstartoys.com uh but so far i don't like the way it looks and we're going to compare it with the real deal in just a bit we got a really plasticky looking grenade arms right there um, but overall, it's not half bad, I have to say. Despite me not liking how it's painted, it looks like it's just really bad quality paint. It actually looks to be a actual Figma Bakugo. So, I can't really complain here. Honestly, for 20 bucks, not too bad. It actually looks like him. It looks way better than Anime Heroes, I'll tell you that. In fact, we'll probably get that later on in the video, if I can even find it. I hated that figure. It looks awful. But... Here we go. Let's go. Let's compare it with the real deal. Here he is. Here he is. So here's the real deal right here. Here's the fake right here. Is there a clear difference? Let's see. Let's see. Is there a difference? Very clear difference is the matte finish on the real deal Bakugo just looks much better. The paint is paint apps are much cleaner. Or if you look at the fake here, there's all kinds of things going on here. It looks like they messed up in the paint on the midsection right here. And they messed up the paint in the belt right there. And the paint on the grenade arms. Like I said before, it just looks very, very amateurish, right? But then again, the real deal, clean, right? 80 bucks for this one, 20 bucks, 25 bucks for that one. So I'm going to leave the question up to you guys on YouTube and on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. 
is that okay? Would you pay 20 bucks for this or 80 bucks for the real deal? Let me know down in the comments down below. So here is the enemy heroes Bakugo and the middle is the fake. The real deal is on the left. It's definitely better than the anime heroes one, I'd have to say. Much better. Yeah. So there you have it. Those are Bakugo in 112 scale. Again, anime heroes, fake, real deal. My opinion, real deal, super clean, really expensive. Fake is not very clean at all. The paint apps are awful on it, in my opinion. But the face is pretty decent, I'd have to say. And of course, the worst one I have to say is the Anime Heroes, which the face is just god awful. I hate this one. It looks so ugly. Uh, one more thing I have to tell when it comes to paint and detail before we continue on to articulation and scale is that it seems like the midsection's a little bit smaller on the fake, just a little bit thinner. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Let's go into articulation and scale. Let's see how tall this guy is standing. We're gonna see how tall he is, especially in compared with other action figures. We're looking here at five and a half inches. Let's compare the real one here. The real deal is also five and a half inches, so the scale is actually really nice. Wow, okay, all right, Figma clones, you got it, you got it. Uh, before we move on to looking at other action figures and comparing, I kind of just want to play with this guy, and let's see if anything's gonna fall apart. You know how it is on our show. We got things falling apart and whatnot. Uh, it looks like we're not suffering from anything falling apart nothing is super super loose i'd have to say so myself this is actually a fairly decent figure for the price much like the fake figma um deku this one's not bad at all oh also we have a lot of like super glue marks right here on the fins remember my real one also had a little bit of super glue right there as you can see so I don't know. I think it's not awful for the price, right? It's not awful. It's not not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's compare it with other action figures. Let's compare it with Marvel Legends Captain America. And there you have it. That's comparing the scale right there. We have a real deal SH figure. It's Gohan, which we all know the fake was absolute garbage. And everyone wanted the pieces for it in the giveaway. But I already gave that away. Uh, let's see, of course we got to have, let's see if we can get Figma Deku real deal here. And here's the Figma real deal Deku right there, and it looks like they scale really well together. So, that's that. Uh, one more thing, I thought that the knee, okay, so that's what I thought. So here's a little bit of a difference, I'm just finding these as we go. The knees are definitely different, let's look at the knees right here. So, the, the smooth knee joint on the real deal is smaller. And the, and the fake is bigger, and that's why it looks like that. Wow, that doesn't look nice at all. Now that you, when you bend his knee like that, the real one definitely looks cleaner, but it manages to maintain scale. So I think that's the only differences right there that I can see. So let's go into articulation. Let's get the side kick going and front kick and whatnot. And then we have a toe articulation right there. We have an up and down here at the ankle. And just as I thought, it does seem like the ankle joint. Yeah, that's what I thought. So if you look at the real deal here, let's see if we can get this in focus. Right there, let's compare these two. If you look at the real deal, it's a smaller one. Again, we're dealing with smaller joints, whereas it looks like they just found whatever joints they had in the factory and slapped it on him. Uh, so there you have it. The joint on the fake is much bigger as well. Uh, we have a rotation here at the shin. We have that bend at the knee. We have the ball joint here at the crotch. We have two at the waist. We have one here at uh, or shoulder joint right there, as usual. We have one here at the elbow, one at the wrist, and one at the neck looking to be under 20 points of articulation. Kind of like the real deal, I'd have to say so. Yeah, but it's still composed really well. Let's see if we can break this thing. Let's do a side kick, let's do a front kick, let's do a rising knee, let's do a shore you can, let's do the splits. Pow, he can actually do the splits really nicely. Uh, so yeah, no issues here, to be honest with you. And let's see if we can get him to do a pose right here. We're shooting flames out of his grenade arms. And yeah, so I'd have to say this isn't half bad despite the paint issues for 20 bucks. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so now let's look at accessories. Let's go to the top cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, we have his 
very very angry face and of course we're going to compare uh put these on the real one just in case you lost the real ones and you can just replace them we have the blasty effects right here uh let's see here we get uh the extra hands as well and a stand you do not get the classic figma mount bag so let's go to the front cam and let's see what we're dealing with let's get this single face is, is that it do we not get another i swore we got another face did we not get another face? I guess not. We only get one face. So let's move that front hair. Let's put that in there. And now we have a very angry Kachan right here. And there you have it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Luis Orlando Velez Rodriguez says, where can I buy it? You can get this on eBay. Just look up Figma Bakugo and go to the lowest price. And if it's from China, it is this clone very much a clone so let's get the real one let's put the face plate on there let's see if they are indeed compatible so we got the fake one so let's say you lost your face plate and there you have it there you go you can put the fake face on the real deal so if you need a parts figure this would be an excellent parts figure just to be sure that your kachan does not uh, break or lose parts and then therefore you have a parts figure and I love parts figures I love having parts spare parts are Something that is a necessity when you're collecting very expensive figures Stuff breaks all the time and if you have clones with parts you can just swap them out and boom No worry no need to panic no need to go to to email D star and 2 a.m. In the middle of the night saying oh my god my figure broke Because you have spare parts because you've been collecting clones, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding guys uh, anyway, here's one thing that I noticed about the wrist peg. Uh, actually, no, I, you know what? I, I thought it was a little bit bigger. Actually, they are to scale. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. That's not too bad. Uh, let's get an effect piece on there, and I guess we can come up with a conclusion of the this is not fake, absolutely fake um, Bakugo. And of course, we got to put in this effect piece like so. Hopefully, nothing breaks. Oh, it doesn't look like that's fitting. It looks, I think they are proprietary, so that means it goes in. Okay, so yeah, there you have it. Right there. Right there. Not, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. What? Have we finally come across a decent clone? How long has it been? It's been a couple months and we haven't come across a decent clone since like the Legends creation Broly. Which even then, that one was just so-so. I mean, if you have the real deal, why even bother? Uh, but yeah, look at that. See? Yeah, all the parts fit and whatnot on the real one too. So, okay. Alright, alright. Okay, I gotta give this a fair assessment. Let's come up with a conclusion. Let's talk about the negatives. There are clear negatives here. The paint apps suck, right? Nothing you can't handle in a solid afternoon uh, with some good paint. If you're good with painting, just paint it down uh, and then give it a nice matte finish, which you can buy it at dstartoys.com. Uh, and he should be looking close to the real deal. His scale is right. Um, yeah, I, th I think that's the only negative I have. Sure, the knees are kind of, kind of ugly. But you know what? You probably wouldn't even notice it unless you have him like kneeling down. So you probably, yeah, it's it's not too obvious. And I think that's really what I care about. If there are some super obvious flaws in the joints, then it would be a no-go. But I'd have to say this is okay. If you got 20 bucks to spare, why not? He's pretty darn close to the real one, to my surprise. What's going on here? <laughs> uh, let me know down in chat and twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. Let me know what you think, and also on YouTube, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. I'd have to say this isn't a bad clone, especially for the price. He has some paint issues, like I said, but you know what? That's nothing you can't fix, especially if you're good at painting. This is a good practice figure if you want to start painting and start getting into customs. You might want to start refurbishing bootlegs. This one wouldn't be a bad one, I'd have to say. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll be answering questions on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01 and also in the comments on YouTube. Don't forget to visit our Discord so you can get into the fan art giveaway for the real deal Jucky Chun. And last but not least, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post videos. And last but not least, don't forget to visit 
www.pcrtoys.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.